Hi, it's me. <laughs> hmm. from us lately i'm like really so what is this vlog about this vlog is just basically catching up on our 2023 what happened what significant and exciting things um transpired and i'm very excited to tell you we're letting you know we're still alive and that we are actually doing okay and we're together still you didn't post a lot people are gonna think we had problems that's when people start thinking that there's problems in our relationship I mean, we are <laughs> no problem we just want to let you know the reason why the reason we weren't why. so active is because john and i are workaholics it's not even that we've become busy it's we've invited the busyness in we're like oh yeah. we have an extra three hours in our day what can we possibly do that would bring a financial income yeah. that would fill those three hours and we would fill it we're also balancing school work. i think that's our toxic trait our toxic trait is we don't know when to stop working how American because we I don't feel? like it oh i don't like it personally i don't like it if i have a day where i'm not doing anything like even just for an hour it freaks that's me out that's john, why i cannot not have a job john actually will start nitpicking on all those yeah, things and i would like raise your hand if you have a girlfriend who starts nitpicking on every little thing she's like there's dust yes there's <laughs> dust so funny yesterday there's dust you live in the philippines there's dust everywhere <laughs> it's funny yesterday because i was also home like it was my day off and then i was looking over the house and she's like why is it so dusty so I started nitpicking on small things, and, she just doesn't leave and Sam over. goes, "You need to go back to work. You do need to go back. Like I'm clingy. Like as soon as she leaves to work, I'm like, come home. I, mean, <laughs> you, I, I will be your sugar mommy. I will provide. Quit your job. And then when she gets home, she's like, why is this here? I was like, okay, you need to leave. Go on a walk. Go on a walk. I noticed that we're twinning. I started it first. No, I did it first. Well, no, what happened was I grabbed a shirt really quick and. Um, Turns out it was John. She's like, why are you bringing my shirt? I was like, oh, this is not mine. Yeah. So, Anyways, yeah, that's, yeah, that's why, that's one of the reasons why we fell off the, we fell off the grid. The grid. We f we're finishing school and we'll talk more about that because it feels like we've been in school for forever. forever. Okay. But there's more good news about that. Anyway, so next, another reason why we were not busy on social media because I was too busy showing John off to the world like the Lion King when what? Simba's born. I was just like, I was the monkey. I was like, Yeah, and I was, um, I was excited. It was, it's such a great feeling that we could post about each other. We could talk freely about each other that we can be like, yeah, this is my girlfriend. Yeah, she does this. And then no, it's been a year since he came out. I know, but that's why we've now. been busy or we haven't been on social media as much is because I was too busy being like, did you see my girlfriend yet? Did you see my girlfriend yet? This is my girlfriend. Okay, did that's you smell not, her? She's exaggerating. That's not She's exaggerating. It's just that whenever she attends not parties, really. whenever she attends parties, mm. people would say, oh, hi, Sam. Where's Jack? That's literally the same. That's the line. Like, we had so many holiday parties. That I did not go to. That John didn't attend because she was busy at work. Our schedules don't really align. This year was about more of loving and accepting and being open. It's just being about us this year. This year can be more of like teaching everyone how our relationship works yeah. and the ups and the downs, the communication how we, we've had. How we met. Yeah. Well, happened. everyone knows how we met. I know. But that, I, that, well, that's what's happened this year. Uh, they did okay. not know. No, I'm talking about See, this See, we're year. arguing. <laughs> Jan and I, funny thing, we love each other to death. Oh my God, we love each other so much, but we cannot work together. together. It's because John is very organized and structured, where I'm a very free-flowing, go-with-the-flow, a lot of imagination, creativity, and it, you know, it just... Yeah. I can't work it's with okay. Sam. It's it opposite attract. It frustrates. <laughs> Oh my god. So oh. Again, raise your hand if you're like us. 
podcast where one person is just so organized and type A and ready and the other person is just like type Z. <laughs> She's type Z. I don't type Z. Z, as in at the end of the alphabet already. It's like because you've tried all the yeah. letters already. Grabbing. So yeah, um, but what was significant on our social media was that we appeared in, in quite a lot of media outlets. Some of them eat Bulaga message me and I'm they're like, Sam, you know, we would like to have you on our show because we're doing like a guessing game basically. You have to guess which beauty queen is a lesbian. I think or it was LGBT two days queen. after Was the, it two days? Yeah, it was oh, two days, days after the whole news broke. They out. don't we stand no? I went on Bowel Judgmental. Jan was at work. So I was like, you know, the person, I was the hot topic of the week and, but I went on a show without my partner. And then ever since that, like Jan just kind of eluded all social media outlets, like appearances on TV, appearances on platforms and everything. And it's like, does she really exist? <laughs> Is she really there? Are you really yeah. together? Like, you know, did Sam just make up a small, did she just grab any small Filipino? Just like, just kidding. You're Swiss. <laughs> Anyways, no. I don't, Jan doesn't really like, you don't, you're not really I don't a really, public eye person. I've told my friends, like, Sam has this, you know, circle where the very professional ones, the very business, the business owners, the very successful ones, the very famous ones, but never had I ever told Sam that Sam, I want to meet these people. It's because, actually that's true. Yeah, because I'm shy. I think Jan's just a little introvert. I am an introvert. A little introverted. If you would I'm pay like... me to stay at home every day, I would do so. I would nitpick and everything, nobody, but I would say nobody home. send us that kind of sponsorship. <laughs> that's not the sponsorship we want. However, however, if anyone is in the sponsorship of Joe Malone. Huh? You smell good. <laughs> I was in a very small special guest role of Becky and Bidette this past year. Um, and But I was able to finally get Jan to make her red carpet. <laughs> but before that, we fought. So when we fought because you didn't want to buy all those clothes and get ready it's and everything. It's not that. It's not even that. It's the fact that I have to be here. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that was also it. her social anxiety kicked in. Forward. I still went though. Yeah, no, it was fine. It was you really look amazing. Fun. You yeah. look so it was fun. chic and posh. Yeah, in the photo, it looked like we did not bicker, but yeah, there was a lot of bickering. No, I, I think what had happened is um, when you got there, you it just you know it all hits you. The, the lights, the red carpet, the photographers, the crowd, the security. Yeah, you would feel the, the vibe. decorations. The vibe was there. The it was vibe amazing. Was just, like, People got dressed yeah, in all these like colorful, colorful outfits. We didn't get the memo. I didn't get the memo. But they said just come and bring a guest. Like yeah. when they said, Sam, you know, we're ha we'd like you to come to the premiere, yeah. the celebrity premiere. I was like, oh my god, the they didn't carpet. cut my scene out. Because the whole time, like until the movie was out, I was looking at John and I was like, I think they cut my scene. They cut my scene. And she's like, you need to relax. So I was like, they cut my scene. I'm not pretty enough. <laughs> So yeah, um, they didn't cut my scene. I'm at the end of the movie. The movie was fantastic. I it loved was, it. It was just light and fun. It was light. It was fun. It had a very good plot. The humor mm -hmm. was there. Eugene Domingo. Oh my god. She's such a sweet woman. Was so she tell nice. you when you saw her first when shooting? She's like, oh my god, you're so pretty. We went to high school together, you know. <laughs> But she's so nice. Pokemon was also very, very nice. I think she was just like super, super tired that day. That day of filming required so much energy and I actually know which scene they had filmed that day um, when I watched the movie. I was like, oh, that's so cool. But the yeah. amount of talent that these people have, it was just amazing. And they're so nice. The team, oh my God, the producers, nicest people ever. Yeah, they were so nice. They're very cur courteous. They always took care of me. I had to wait a long time for my turn. Yeah, but what are they feeding you? They just kept feeding me. I didn't mind the wait. Like in beauty queen world, that's all we do is wait. So I'm used to the wait. But they were like, Sam, are you hungry? I was like, I just ate. They're like, Sam, there's donuts. I'm like, I, you just gave me one. It's like, Sam, there's coffee. <laughs>
Other than that, Becky and Bidette was wonderful. John has also been accepted into the Globe family. We also want to do a shout out for Globe who provides our internet and my brand new Samsung yeah. giant tablet. The S9 Ultra. I love playing games. Oh there. my God, it's great. So, so thank you Globe. And anything that we do now, they're like, oh, we would like to invite you and John. We'd like to invite the big and little spoon to this event. We'd like to give you guys these things to enjoy. I was like, I um, The it. Michael, the, what, how do you say it? Michelle Angelo? Michael the, the one. Michelangelo. Yeah, the, the Michelle one. Angelo. See, no, see, Michelle. Michelle the way. <laughs> um, Century Tuna has also made John part of the family. Yeah, when we, we went, tuna. when we went to that diving, that cleanup drive. That too. For Century Tuna in Batangas, yeah. No, you gotta explain it better. What had happened yeah. was Nanette Medved organized a Let's Save Our Ocean mm -hmm. um, kind of charity event. And we would help clean up the ocean and then there's a segue to this thing called Aling Tendera. So yeah. these provinces and barangays are given an Aling Tendera location where they allocate all the plastic and waste that can be recycled. They bring it to that location and then they get money in return. And what they do is they, you know, Aling Tendera gives these companies plastic credits and then Nanette Medved continues to make schools and recycle and please adopt me, call me, I love you Nanette. Do you know that Sam's crush? The only one crush that she has here. <laughs> Whenever I see Nanette on social I media, Nanette I'm just Nanette. like, oh my God, look at my, my, my teeth are so busy. She, is, she just can't be bothered. She's at she's, a UN meeting. Like She is such a lesbian. I, I'm obsessed with Nanette. <laughs> She's uh, she's everything I want to be. Like, she wants to be a philanthropist. That's how I, you want to be. I actually really like. Ever since I was younger, I wanted to always have some sort of charity, philanthropy, See? shelter. So I, I don't know. I think when she becomes a nurse this year, I'm just gonna give people the first free. salary that she would ever get is she's gonna donate it to someone. I'm just gonna do. I'll be just, like, hey I'm man, I need you, healthcare. Like, so do I. But here's yeah. So, um, so another thing, what happened? Another thing moving forward, moving forward with our 2024 year is that we are almost going to graduate. We are. Technically, I'm finished with school. Yeah, all her professional subjects is done. I just have CE3 to complete and I'm yeah. out of here. Jan is on CE2. God bless you. Good luck. See, this, this is why I hate vlogging with Sam because she just jumped right away. I did not jump right away. You're not saying that first. Segway. Okay. Clearly, a little bit vlogging. So that's why we have our notes on this giant like miniature TV. Structure. She does like structure. Mm, However, so my world has been so I don't want to talk about your world, baby. That <laughs> I'm okay with jumping and adjusting, but structure is good too. Anyways, yeah, structure makes you knowing. You know, I don't know. So we Not ended the jumping. year with a new apartment. So that's actually see. true. As you can see, we have a this much prettier a setting. It's interior designed. It is just it just feels oh, like Oh, we made this bar was actually yeah, this bar is also this nice. bar we're vlogging on right now. It's uh they made this. They mm -hmm. custom built it to be a wine rack. Yeah. Drinks up here. We have a giant cinematic TV. I actually don't care for TVs. I'm fine using a tablet or a laptop, but John it's all about the TV. We could live in a shoebox as, as long, long as, as that TV. TV that does not fit in the shoebox is there. And our balcony. Oh, I love our balcony. It's a scammer. The, like, whole what are you moving, doing? the whole moving. It took oh, a, moving was a nightmare. It took a toll in our wallet. <laughs> no one tells you how from. expensive these things are from from bed sheets to laundry detergent to to food oh my god don't even get me started on food sam, are, sam and i were talking about earlier that this needs to be included in the subject for grade school it students. should be how you, to be an adult because when i was a kid all i wished was to be an adult and then the, now it's it's a nightmare the textbook you should receive in that class is just a list of all the yeah, prices of all the prices so for that year and then it should be updated the next year because inflation is real inflation is real oh my god it's funny because we were talking about our friends and having children and one of our friends just looked at us and she's like, in this economy? In this economy? <laughs> that's, that's, been, the that's Reset's life. That's been like the slogan <laughs> for all 2023. Yeah, in, in this, this economy, economy, gas is just out of control. At Why one don't point, you have kids? In this economy? In this economy? <laughs> no. no. Our, even our dogs, we have to make some fiscal decisions. They are on expensive. Our, they are expensive. Dude, their food 
for two kilos. Only because you wanted to switch to better food. Yeah, because they look so sad. They're not sad, they're bored. They're bored. Being as chronic, resting bitch face. And I know <laughs> it, it's clinically chronic because it's lasted longer than six months. So moving on from bed cheese, since we already said that we're graduating this year, what would happen? What would happen when, oh my god, I guess we break up. This is it. This is, I think we're gonna we, we ran out I can do long distance. Our subscription ends here. Yeah. Char. <laughs> no, so we, we've talked about it, and in true lesbian fashion, we're just like, oh my god. We had a little mini mental breakdown. Little tears flowing. I did it, it. she did. Oh my god, you're so. <laughs> Anyways, no, it's gonna be. It's something that we've anticipated, but now that the time is closer, it's more real. But I'm really the one who was just pushing her out. Jan will keep working. She's gonna do her Philippine licensure exam and pass that board, of course, because she's so darn smart. And then I myself am just gonna keep working as a nurse in the US and build our career. And then when we meet, I wanna be able to fly Jan out. We'll vacation places like South Korea, Japan, um, Spain, New Zealand, Australia, yep. things like that. So that's just that's the update. That's of the what update. has happened. What we want for 2024. We definitely want to push out more content out there. We will put out more content. This coming, you know, few months. Just bear with us because we are just workaholics and we're trying to balance everything together. We like ten out of ten do not recommend. Ten out of ten do not All recommend. The same things. Go. Ten out of ten do not recommend going to school and working a full time job. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we had a great, we had a fantastic vacation. Wait. Can't wait to push out more content. Yeah. Um, let us know what content you guys want to see mm -hmm. because we would love to Comment make it for you. Down and we'll Put definitely the push below. more. Anyways, we love you guys. Happy New Year's. Happy Cheers. New Year's. Cheers. Welcome to our new apartment. Cheers, yep. baby. Ellie. I'll show you the new apartment. I said I love you. Oh, I love you too. Oh. That's our relationship. <laughs>